Hey guys, this is Matt with Mix Coach here. Uh, I wanted to start a series on the new Pro Tools 11 shortcuts that they've added. Um, they're really going to speed up people's workflow once they start learning them. And I just wanted to start a series on it because they've added a lot of new uh, keystrokes and modifiers for inserts and sends, uh, the, the clip menu, uh, the nudging and automation, and the edit window, uh, just lots of new new stuff that is, is I think is going to be really beneficial. So I'd like to break it up into a series. Uh, so yeah, let's just get after it here. Um, I basically just took an, an older session and just made a faux session here, added a bunch of stuff to it so we could just use it for application. Uh, let's start with the inserts here. If uh, you want to bypass a channel, everything on a channel, you can just hit control And click and it'll bypass everything on that channel and if you noticed say you just want to do something from here and below you can do control that and it'll leave that untouched and as you go down likewise it's the same thing it also does the same thing down here for sins so if you start there boom it'll do that for that channel and then there and below and you can go one step further with it you can hit control option and if you go up to your inserts it'll do it for all of them on each line, wherever, wherever you want it and below. The same goes for the sins. Really, really cool feature. I, I really like that. Uh, next would be, what I'm really digging a lot here is, say you want to bypass your EQs. Just shift E for equalizer, boom. It's bypassed every EQ. And also something to keep in mind is, on a track-to-track -track basis, it has to be selected. If, uh, for some of these uh, key commands to work. So say these weren't highlighted, they're not going to bypass those when you use that key command. Uh, also, if you notice, when I did that, the channel strip, any channel strip will turn purple on that. That means that it's just bypassing the EQ. Your dynamics are untouched. The modifier for the compressors and dynamics is Shift-C, as you see. And for your reverbs, it is Shift V. And for delays, it is Shift D. I didn't set up a delay in this session, but I will throw one up here just to show. Okay, Shift D. You see there, it bypasses. And there's also one for. Uh, any type of modulation plug-in, so you know, any kind of coarse, phaser, we'll just grab one here. If you hit Shift W, it will bypass those. So they've really added a lot of flexibility to how quickly you can bypass something if you want to hear a difference. It, it's really just, just remarkable to me. Uh, let's see here, what other key commands off the top of my head that I can remember? Okay, uh, say you just want to bypass your inserts on A through E. If you hit Shift-1, it does it for all those. If you want to go down to F and J, it's going to be Shift-2. And then for your sins on A through E, is Shift-3. And then if you have another group open, it's Shift-4 for uh, F through J on your sins and so forth. Um, Again, th this stuff's just for me is just I think it's gonna help tremendously. It's already helped me with when I get to use it. I'm still waiting on a lot of uh, my plugins to be ported, but when I do use it, it's coming in extremely handy, and I'm I'm loving it. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's any other bypassing commands that I can think of for inserts and sends, but if I miss something. Uh, please, by all means, leave a comment, let us know, because I, I want to know. And uh, I hope you guys got something from this, and this is going to be part one in the series. And uh, hope to see you next time, guys. We'll see you.